Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Jermaine Dupree. Welcome to the Valder Beebe Show in Dallas, Texas. How are you doing? I am wonderful, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I understand you're doing pretty good with the rap game. I'm trying, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's on everybody's list. My my uh, audience just posted about it when I told them that you were coming on. They seem to know everything about it, but I want to hear directly from you. That's Tell what's up. me the success of the rap game. What makes it so successful? Um, well, it's a demo that many people don't pay attention to. Um, and the demo is basically hungry and thirsty for content. Um, we forget about these kids. We just think that they are, you know, some kind of way we think that they are um, supposed to, you know, join the party that we're going to, but they can't actually go to the clubs. They can't go to the party I'm going to. They can't drink. They can't do, you know, none of the things that us adults do. Um, so these kids are left at home and they got video games, but they don't really have music and they don't have a TV show like the rap game. So that's what this does. This, you know, it fills that void. It kind of gives them an opportunity to look where that they can matriculate to as they they practice their skills, rapping, which seems to be natural to a lot of them. Yeah, yes. I mean, they think it's natural. I mean, you know, it's it's, it's, in, it's in the bloodstream and it's the music of today. So um, it's, it feels natural. But to become an artist and to be a star in the rap game is a different subject. Is a di whole different story than just being able to rap. Okay, you said something real interesting because you've worked with Bow Wow, DeBrad, Chris Cross, TLC, some of the most iconic acts in history. What sets them apart to be successful? Um, the artists that you named? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I mean, each one of those artists, they came with a talent um, that was, was undeniable. Um, DeBrad, Bow Wow, Chris Cross, all of these they all had a certain thing about them that was just, um, they wanted it bad. They wanted it really, really bad. And a lot of kids today, they want it, but they don't understand that it's a lot of work. And, and Criss Cross and Bow Wow and Brat, they understood the work. They put the work in <clears throat> and they did what they had to do in order to become these names that people know. And um, what I find with the show is that a lot of these kids feel like just because they're coming and they're gonna be a part of my world that I'm gonna make it easier for them because they're around me. But they learn um, really, really fast that that's not the, that's not the case. <laughs> okay. So this coming in season of the rap game, what are we going to see? And then also too, I know producers are watching this, and other talent agents have to be watching this. Are they they pulling from your your efforts of the rap game? I mean, you know, I I see other TV shows that you know that go and get older rappers but once again like i said that's you can they can have that world um i'm i'm catering to the 5 to 16 17 year old demo um and it probably with this tv show is much wider it's probably 5 to 45 because it's a family show as well as um um the teenage show so um with that being said, yeah, you you see a lot of shows. I've saw I've seen VH1. They tried to do a hip hop type of show, and um, the format was similar to the rap game. But I feel like it's not, you know, it's a very crowded um, area with with adult rappers. Um, with the teen rappers, it's not, you know, it's 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 it can be crowded. But right now, it's, this is the only show of its kind. That's exciting. That makes it really exciting. And also, why do you do this? You're successful. You're one of the most well-known producers. You've been doing this for 30 years. Why is Jermaine Dupree doing this? Um, I think I do this because people, um, they give me the credit for creating this lane in the first place. You know, um, 
106 in Park was a show mm -hmm. that was my idea from, you know, starting to put Bow Wow out. Um, and we created that lane with that TV show by giving an opportunity to um, other people to create Chris Brown, B2K, Mario. Um, there was so many young artists that that came out after Bow Wow came out and, and, and 106 in Park was that home. Um, and people, you know, they always look at me as the person that can produce these younger artists or teen artists. So I'm just answering my calling. You know, I'm, I, I was trying to fight it at first, but I feel like this is something <laughs> that I was here, I was put here to do. I know about that one, and Jermaine being late with God. <laughs> he doesn't believe that. <laughs> you are such a nice guy. I read nice things about you. Of course, you know, they got those what they call haters. But I read overall very nice things about you. And I got to ask you this before I let you go. How do you stay a nice person in a industry that's not known for having nice people? Um, I read this quote yesterday um from warren buffett that said um um money doesn't um change you money just lets people know who you actually are so if you're an evil person before you get the money you're gonna be a much more evil person once you get the money and if you're a kind person and a nice person when you get the money you're gonna be a nicer and kinder person once you get your success or whatever it is. So I guess that's just how it works with me. Um, you know, it, it, that that quote really resonated with me, and I feel like it's the truth. And I think you have such power, and my audience is listening to you, <laughs> and I hope they absorb that, Jermaine. So when do you want us to ro watch the rap game? When, uh, when's rap game the, when's comes the on. One? The rap game comes on tonight uh, at 9 o'clock on Lifetime. Um, if you miss it, like I said, every, it's a new date, Thursday nights on Lifetime at 9 p.m. We'll be there. Jermaine Dupree, thank you for gracing the Valder BB show. And there's young people that listen to my show, and I know you've made some kind of impression on them. Thank you very much for being here. All right. Thank you for having me.